Hey everybody, it's Jonathan Senyar Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. Thank you for clicking on the video. I am hanging here in front of my Timberline 850, which is rolling some smoke, getting ready for some cooks later today. But I wanted this video to actually uh, act as a trailer to a longer blog post, blog post that I did um, earlier in this week, where I feel as if I contribute to debunking the myth that uh, cooking a brisket and knocking it out of the park is something that's going to take uh, a full day of your time. Um, um, and it's going to require all crazy, you know, rubs, injections, and all this like, you know, voodoo magic to make the thing work. Because it's just simply not the case. Um, I ruined a brisket two weeks ago and decided to get right back in the saddle and try it again. And um, I, quite honestly, I got advice from a pit master who, again, I'll talk about him in the blog post, who said to me, man, it's as simple as a nine hour cook. Cook it, wrap it, rest it, done. The details are in the blog post. Please check it out. I think it's going to simplify the way that you approach brisket. And I think you will elevate your game. Actually, one person, and I kid you not, who tasted uh, what I cooked last weekend, he told me, and he, this is a guy who goes to a lot of barbecue joints, he said to me, this brisket tastes as good, if not better, than anything I've had up at Hoodoo Brown in Ridgefield, Connecticut. And we know the level that Hoodoo Brown is delivering goods at. So whether I'll be able to replicate that again, who knows. But please read the blog post, I think it's gonna help you. And uh, come visit Ring of Fire for all of your barbecue supply needs and more. Thank you.